let us study about asm chat in this lecture please click on the link given in the description to download the notes we already know what is state diagram and how to draw it in this lecture i'll explain about asm chart that is how to draw asm chart from the given state diagram asm stands for algorithmic state machine these charts are similar to the flow charts what we generally use while writing any program these charts are used to represent the flow to be performed by data path circuits and control circuits asm charts represent physical hardware and offer several advantages what are those advantages the first one is operation of a digital system can be easily understood by inspecting the asm chart these charts are equivalent to a state graph and it leads directly to a hardware realization these charts can describe the operation of both combinational and as well as sequential circuits this asm chart may be equivalently expressed as a state and as well as output table i have taken an example state diagram this state diagram has three states labeled as s0 s1 and s2 and see here this numerator represents input and the denominator represents output always here so when the input is zero and output is zero it remains in the same state that is there is no transition it is in the same state as not and when the input is one and output is one there is a transition from s not to s1 and when input is zero and output is one when it is in s1 it remains in the same state s1 and from s1 when the input is one and output is zero it goes to the state s2 when input is 0 and output is 0 it remains in the same state as 2 and when input is 1 and output is 1 it goes back to the state as not this is the example state diagram i have taken and now let us draw the asm chart for this particular state diagram before drawing asm chart we must first know the components that are involved in the asm chart so let's see what are those components this rectangular box is called the state box and this is called the decision box which will be generally having 0 and 1 always it will have 0 and 1 what happens if it is 0 that is to which state it moves when it is 0 and to which state it moves when it is 1 that is how this decision box will be used and the rectangle with rounded corners is called condition box which is used only in mealy state machines that's why sometimes it is also called as mealy box Here one important point to note is that this mealy box is used only when the output is high we have seen in the state diagram sometimes you have output 0 and output 1 so we'll be using this particular mealy box or condition box only when the output is high let us see now so this is the state diagram what we had these are the three states labeled as s0 s1 s2 so first let me draw three states s0 s1 s2 these are the three state boxes s0 s1 and s2 now here you see we need to first draw the decision box and it has input x and s0 has a decision box and now if you see when the input is 0 and the output is 0 it is going to the same state so when the input is 0 it is going to the same state and when the input is 1 you also have the output as 1 so if you have the output as 1 you need to draw the condition box so when you have the input 1 you will draw the condition box now when the input is 1 and the output is 1 this is 1 and for output 1 we have drawn the condition box it is moving to s1 so it will move to now s1 this is how it moves now in s1 if input is 0 and output is 1 means for first you will draw the decision box and when the input is 0 you need to draw a condition box here you have drawn the condition box so it will go to s1 only and now when the input is 1 and the output is 0 you need not draw any condition box here when it is 1 it goes to state s2 this is it is coming to state s2 now s2 when the input is 0 output is also 0 so no need of any decision box 
uh, sorry no need of any condition box you will be drawing the decision box and when it is 0 input is 0 it goes to S2 and when input is 1 you have output as 1 so again when input is 1 you need to draw the condition box so when input is 1 it goes to S0 so it goes to S0 this is how you will draw ASM chart for any given state diagram